In this episode of Skazlo, something cheap others spend lots on, I'm gonna be talking to you about tablets for photo post-production. Now, before we jump into actually talking about these tablets and which tablet I prefer these days and which one's the least expensive that's gonna give you the best results, let's go ahead and talk about why we even want a tablet for photo post-production. So if you're a photographer and you're not a digital painter, why would you even want to use a tablet? That's the big question. Well, here's the thing. A tablet allows you the ability to use your pressure sensitivity of your pen as you push down on your tablet so that you can get a more accurate uh, brush stroke or the uh, illusion of a brush stroke like you would have if you were actually painting on a canvas. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes for this demonstration, and that is going to be the Azalea brush. Gotta love the old Azalea brush. So this is with the mouse. If I click and I drag across with the mouse, I get exactly what I get from this brush. Whatever's in that brush properties is exactly what I get. Now a pen by default is no different. It's basically just a mouse. So if I click and I drag, I get the same thing I would get with a mouse. But up here in Photoshop, in the brushes and any brush, if you see a little button right here, this is gonna control the opacity. So this basically says the pressure sensitivity that I'm gonna use right now is going to be controlling the opacity. So I'm pressing very delicately. As I push harder, it gets brighter. This one right here is gonna control the flow. So as I go ahead and push and start moving, it's going to control the flow and the opacity of this brush and I'll push and drag it and you can see how that is working there. And then if we were to press this one, that's also going to adjust the size. So if I do this, the brush is very small and then as I push, it starts to get uh, more and more prevalent as I am painting. Okay, you see that? And then it's really, really effective. If I were to make a new layer, press Shift F5 and fill this with white. Here's with the mouse. If I just start drawing around with a mouse, it's not really that accurate. But let's say I'm drawing around a circle or something like that. And I want this brush to just kind of fade as I go around that circle to create the azaleas there. Look at that beautiful little circle of azaleas. And as I push harder and harder and harder and get more towards that center, you can start to see uh, how we see more and more of those azaleas and they're brighter and brighter and brighter. And then I can taper that off with a lighter brush stroke. And again, that's controlling the flow, the opacity and the size with pressure sensitivity. So as the harder I push, the more pressure sensitive it's going to be. The more delicate I push with my pen, the less pressure sensitive. I don't get that with the mouse. It's full on or nothing. Okay. So that's why tablets are really important. Now, how does this pertain to photography? Because you're probably not going to be drawing azaleas on your landscape or portrait photos. So let's go into this image here. This image, I've already got a curve set up on here and I'm gonna put a mask on there. Um, I like this curve, but look what's happening to the sky in those uh, highlight areas. Now I could use a luminosity mask to fix that, but I'm gonna, for the sake of using a brush, let's just use a brush for this, okay? So I'm gonna go and make my brush really big and I'm gonna use my mouse and try to just go in here and just delicately paint out the highlights. Look at that, it looks like crap. And as I get close to the blues, looks what happens. I, I cannot feather it. But if I make a really big brush here and I start using my pen tool, Look at that. I'm, I'm going really delicately with my pen here, just barely painting in those areas. And as I get closer to some of those highlight areas that are more towards the center, I might be able to push a little bit harder. But as I transition out, I want that to blend a little bit more with some of those other highlight streaks. And I can do that with the pen. Now, if we were to press Alt or Option and look at the mask, here's the difference. This over here is with the mouse. This over here is with the pen. Now you can see that as I paint with this pen, I push harder and harder and harder. It gets brighter and brighter and brighter and also bigger and bigger and bigger with more opacity. That is the benefit of a pen. And if you're not using one for your photographic post processing, you're probably shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to masking and dodging and burning when you're working with the hand. And quite frankly, if you're dodging and burning with one of these bad boys, it is awesome. It feels like you're totally into the image. I did a video on this recently about immersing yourself into your photo with dodging and burning. You can catch it up here uh, in the card that's gonna be popping up here in the video. So you'll probably see that I got this zebra style tape on my pen. Why is that? Well, that's because these are black and everything else on my desk is black. So if I put this down, it's very often that I lose this thing. So I took some of my wife's, yes, my wife's zebra, pink zebra tape and wrapped it around the pen so I don't lose it killer tip right here. So now that we've talked about the need for a tablet in your photographic post-production, I think it's an absolute necessity over the next lens that you're going to purchase. Now that we've talked about that, let's talk about my favorite tablet that I'm using these days. Now I've used every tablet that you can possibly think of when it comes to working on my images in Photoshop. And from a photographer's perspective, I need simplicity. 
I need no buttons. I just need a pen that I can put down to a tablet so I can get pressure sensitivity. That's it. I don't have any other requirements. So while I have used some of the names that are synonymous with tablets, so to speak, I don't think that they're necessarily the best for many reasons. I've had some problems with drivers with some of these tablets in the past, but the one tablet that I'm using right now is actually a tablet that comes in at under $30, and that's the XP Pen Star G640. This thing is super small. It fits in any bag that I have if I need to travel, and it's extremely lightweight. The best part is no excessive buttons. I have it for exactly what I need it for, just like I showed you in the beginning of this video. I have that for dodging and burning and also for masking. That's all I need it for. I don't need it for much of anything else. I'm not doing any extensive painting and many of these tablets that are out there uh, do entirely too much. And because they do entirely too much, they also cause entirely too many problems when it comes to drivers and such. This is the most simple, most basic tablet I've ever seen and ever used. And quite frankly, um, this $29 product, that's what I paid for it on Amazon, is better than any tablet that I've ever plugged into Photoshop since. I've been using it for six months, so I can tell you that it is a very strong product. At no time have I had any problems with any of the pressure sensitivity in it, and it's always worked. It's extremely reliable, and it does what it needs to do. And even more so, you know, we might think that because we're paying more money for something, it's more professional, but that's not the case. All right. This doesn't come with a professional price tag. All right. It comes with a, a price tag that is designed to get people into Photoshop and using a pen and tablet for the things that they need it for. For our purposes, that is masking and dodging and burning. Very simple things. All you need is pressure sensitivity. That's what it's used for. I know there are other brands out there, and as I've said before, I, I've used many of them. I have owned at least six tablets for my computer, many of which are sometimes 10 times the price tag of this one, and it works great. I love it. I'm never going back. Sticking to this one. Sky's low, something cheap I'll spend lots on right there, baby. If you like this, please comment on it, share it, tell a friend, and subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that little bell notification so that you get notifications every time I create a new tutorial. Again, for this Skazlo series, these are things that I am not getting paid or endorsed by anybody to create. I'm just trying to spread the love for a very good product that could use a little bit more love, especially if you want to keep some of that love in your pocket, if you know what I'm saying. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I sincerely appreciate it. Have a great day.